Former Prime Minister Imran Khan has said he is willing to negotiate with the ruling Pakistani military. Mr Khan was speaking to reporters inside Adiala jail during his jail trial today. Quote, the military should appoint its representative. We are ready to negotiate, unquote, said Mr Khan, whose illegal incarceration has now reached 360 days. This is not the first time Mr Khan has called for talks. Since the military has assumed a political and administrative role in the country, Mr Khan has suggested talks to restore democracy and the constitution. The Islamabad High Court has ordered the recovery and presentation of Dr. Shehbaz Gill's brother in court within two days. Dr. Shehbaz Gill is a US-based PTI representative and a vocal critic of the Pakistani authoritarian regime. Ghulam Shabir, the brother of Shehbaz Gill, was abducted and disappeared on June 10th from Lahore. The transnational repression of overseas Pakistanis has accelerated by the powerful security establishment over the past few months. The brothers of UK-based PTI social media focal person Azhar Mashwani are also missing after they disappeared. An Islamabad district and Sessions Court on Tuesday sent PTI spokesperson and nine others on 14 days judicial remand in a case on the party's alleged anti-state digital campaigns. Members of PTI's media team and secretariat employees were rounded up after the military-backed government announced to ban the party and raided its Islamabad central office. Kitchen staff, administrative staff and other office employees of the party are amongst those who were illegally arrested. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan today condemned the rest of his party's social media team and said, quote, this cruelty must stop, unquote. The United Nations says 86% of the besieged Gaza Strip is now under Israeli evacuation orders as thousands of Palestinians fled refugee camps in central Gaza on Monday after the occupational Israeli army issued new evacuation orders. Quote, we have been displaced from the north. They told us, leave to central Gaza, then to Rafah. We went to Rafah, then went back up to Nazareth. We got stuck. Then we received instructions to move further south towards Al Mawasi, unquote. Muhammad Nasrullah, a displaced Palestinian, told Al Jazeera, quote, Our life is in pieces. We have nothing, no one but God, unquote. Meanwhile, the relentless Israeli offensive has also worsened Gaza's health emergency as its Ministry of Health on Monday declared it a polio endemic area. Medical and health situation here in Northern Gaza Strip is deteriorating day after day as a result of the Israeli policy imposed upon Palestinians. This policy prevents the access of any food or medical supplies to the Nothing Gaza Strip. I'm talking to you from Kemal Udwan Hospital, which is full of malnutrition cases, skin diseases, and kidney failure patients. And when it comes to kidney failure, we have to mention Abdullah Krayim, a nine years old. Abdullah here goes for dialysis three times a week. My kidney is failing because I have been eating canned food and drinking polluted and contaminated water. 